What is going on guys? Grave here. Today we got some huge news for update 35 about weaving. Weaving has been a hot topic in the Elder Scrolls Online for a really long time and now there will be changes to weaving in update 35. I will link all this information down in the description if you'd like to read over it for yourself. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. I'm just going to kind of read off what they talked about. It says currently to be truly effective in ESO's combat, you need to learn to manipulate something that is known as weaving, which refers to the act of squeezing multiple actions into the global cooldown window. Doing so drastically increases your agency's output and is a staple of the game that we've come to embrace, as it helps our combat feel different and exciting to participate in once you learn the ins and outs. However, the impact of weaving leads to a massive gap in performance where players who cannot interact with this effectively are left miles behind those who can. While this is particularly unavoid uh, unavoidable and an important part of what makes the master uh, mastery of ESO or any activity utilized a similar system particularly satisfying, we want to do what we can to shorten that delta. The closer the gap, to close the gap between and lower the to low to high end, pretty much. So the easier it is to create content that can be kind of made for a wider audience while making more natural progression points for those looking to improve to this end we've started to look at the impact that one of the most common important forms of weaving has in ESO light and heavy attack weaving coming in update 35 they're reducing light and heavy attacks to pretty much impact the damage production adjusted to their damage to deal a flat amount regardless of the stats so when you have spent a, a considerable amount of time investigating the baseline experience that new players would have with these attacks, using that as our starting point for how much damage they do moving forward. The aim is to not harm the low end experience and target only the higher end experience. In doing so, we hope to reduce the difference of damage potential in a way that retains the satisfaction of learning to weave where the impact is still felt, but to a much less degree than before. For reference, in many of ESO's high-end experiences and activities, the average build roughly sees 15 to 20% more overall damage from light attack weaving alone, which is a huge contribution to the delta of the power we see. While testing these adjustments internally, we've seen a reduction of 6 to 11% to overall damage, which allows for a much smaller and healthier gap while still you know, retaining a sense of mastery. With the adjustment, they'll also be making, uh, you know, some di different things to kind of help along with this. Uh, they're also making significant number of changes to item sets, passives, and buffs to ensure classes remain balanced and the damage production is still there while also trying to do a better job allowing builds to amplify these actions. As they understand that there's heavy attack people out there that like heavy attack builds and they want to do something for them as well. And they're also, you know, kind of not wanting to hurt you know the gap or you know just the interactions in pvp or pve so overall it looks like what's going to happen is light attacks and heavy attack weaving is going to get a bit of a nerf now zoss a while back kind of buffed light attacks uh, as to where they would do more damage so it looks like in my mind what they're doing is kind of calming that down yet again um whether we'll see a huge difference we'll have to wait and see once it goes live on the public test server we'll see what the pc players think about it but a reduction from 15 to 20 percent of overall damage from light attacks down to 6 to 11 percent is still going to give you that feeling of accomplishing or mastering light attack weaving but at the same time i'm kind of curious how the community is going to feel about this because it's either you're good at light attack weaving you do it you learn it that kind of thing and you're you know you're okay with it or a lot of players out there just do not want to do it they don't think they should have to learn how to light attack weave and i understand both sides so we're going to see if this will kind of close the gap a bit to where both sides are still happy i'm definitely curious to see what you guys think down in the comment section so leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace